I'm Jennifer Storm Nelson. I'm a mixed media artist. Welcome to my Skillshare class, Art Journaling Using Recycled Materials. In this class, we'll experiment with all kinds of recycled and scrap materials to create an interesting art journal background. We'll go over what supplies you'll need, share some unusual techniques, add layers of pattern and texture, and complete a finished project. You may also want to use these techniques on cards or wall hangings, or just enjoy the creative process. Let's get started. Started here with our journal page using um, unusual objects, recycled objects. Um, as you can see, we've got an assortment of things around here. Um, not your typical painting supplies. Um, and we're going to get into everything you need. But we're going to start, of course, with a journal. And um, if you're real crafty, you can even make your own journal. Make that out of recycled things. But we're going to start with, basically, um, they call these uh, like a mixed media type of paper. And it's a little bit, a little thicker so it can handle, you know, what they call wet media, paints and things like that. Um, and there's all different sizes. This is a smaller one. You'll need some type of type of book if you are doing art journaling. This is a smaller one. Um, those are all white pages. This one has more of a like a craft paper, a light brown, and it's sort of thin. So maybe that one might not be as good with the paint. Um, some people also may, like I have done here, take just a simple composition book, one of these dollar store notebooks, and you glue a whole bunch of papers, pages together, and you can use them as an art journal. So, really doesn't matter. You don't have to get fancy with your art journal. So, alright, so you'll need an art journal, and then you'll need some paint, and we're going to use a combination of cool colors and warm colors. I'm going to start with some Wait a minute, I guess this isn't all warm colors. Anyway, we're going to do sour apple and a bright yellow and a midnight blue for our first layer. Um, so let's mix well together. If you're doing wet paint in one layer, you want to make sure they mix together nice and don't make a brown. And then later, after that dries, and we do some other things, we'll be using uh, Diva Pink and an, a bright orange. So those are my choices. You can do whatever colors you want. And you can do this type of technique over and over and get different results every time. So have fun experimenting. Okay, um, some of the things we're going to use, we're going to start by just laying down paint using an old gift card or a credit card. You can tell this has been used many times. So that's a paint layer downer, paint scraper, whatever. Uh, we will also be creating texture with some bubble wrap. Here's a larger bubble wrap size, bigger bubbles, and small bubbles. So we all have different textures. Also for texture, this is drawer liner like you'd use in your kitchen. So these are ne not necessarily uh, recycled objects or things you find around the house or maybe out of the trash or extras of this and that. Not official art supplies, but they're great. Uh, this is drywall tape, and these are just things you press into the paint and, and press them down the paper and get some real interesting textures. Corrugated cardboard, that's fun. Um, sometimes you can wrap the drawer liner or drywall or even like fruit, fruit wrap or onion wrap, those bags. Wrap that around a cardboard tube band it in with a rubber band to kind of roll over your paper like that. That makes a fun texture. Uh, sponges. This is a sea sponge. It, maybe it actually is an art supply, but it's basically just an old sea sponge. I have another sponge somewhere too. But And this is a piece of a pool noodle. It looks like a flower shape, but it makes a fun texture and a shape. Okay, and then a cardboard roll. We'll be dipping that into paint and gesso and making circles with that. Oh, by the way, gesso. That is another thing. It's a wonderful uh, 
product. Uh, it is a thick white paint that you use to, it can cover up other paint, a thick enough white that um, it covers up what's underneath it really well. And it, it uh, covers a lot of mistakes or it just it um, brightens up your painting. So we'll be using that as well. And we'll be making some fun marks. Here's an old comb. You'll see where we can make some fun marks. Here's an old comb. Toothbrush. Old toothbrush, never to use again. But you just put your thumb in there after you get it in the paint and speckle that on your paper. And raid your makeup drawers. Um, of course, make sure they're clean enough to use on, on your book. Um, these are good for dipping in and making fun little marks or squares. I guess this is a little lip liner. You could use that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those, but just to give you some ideas. And we'll be using these straws. You can use, uh, make tiny circles out of them, dipping them in the paint, or you can band them together and make a bunch of them. So, those are our supplies. And if you find anything else around your house that you think would be fun to try using your art journal, go right ahead. And we'll get started. Here we go.